Hi, I'm Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. I want to thank you for joining me this Memorial Day as we pay our respects to those who've lost their lives defending our freedoms. In the next few minutes, you'll hear stories from veterans in the district that I'm honored to represent. We appreciate their stories because we know that so many have given their lives so that all Americans may live free. I'm Larb Nelson. I'm from Lakeland, Minnesota. Okay, my name is Norman Golden and uh, currently in Woodbury, but I'm uh, originally from Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, Richard Glasgow, Lakeland, Minnesota. Rock Marcone, uh, Hugo, Minnesota. I'm Bob Detmer from Forest Lake, Minnesota. Okay, I'm uh, Jake Duesenberg and I'm from Woodbury, Minnesota. My name is Major Ken Jogish uh, from Elk River, Minnesota. Well, thank you so much. My name is Michelle Bachman, and I'm the member of Congress that gets, I'm lucky enough to represent the people in the 6th District of Minnesota. And we're here today because this is such an important weekend. This is Memorial Weekend, and it's pivotal for our nation. It's what we remember, the greatest sacrifice that has been given for all of us. And that's our military who are fallen. And we want to talk a little bit today about the history of this day, what it means to all of us, and really your service, and what it means to have freedom and liberty, and how we wouldn't have that without your sacrifice and the sacrifice of other veterans as well. And on most Memorial Weekends, I usually go out to somewhere in the district and I'll give a speech at a public event, and that's a great thing to be able to do. But we thought in this day and age with YouTube and the internet and with social media, we really think it'd be wonderful, rather than listening to a politician talk, it'd be better to talk to our veterans who actually serve the nation and let you have a voice and let people know about your experience, what our liberty means to you, what Memorial Day means to you. And I guess before I go any further, what I'd like to do is just say, as the people's representative and as the people's voice, I'm here to say thank you. Thank you for what you did in Vietnam. Thank you what you're doing for us today. Thank you that you went to the Middle East and served. Thank you for what you did for us in Vietnam. And thank you as a retired veteran. Dick, you never stop as a veteran. And thank you for everything you do. Thank you. You are representatives of the greatness of this district. And we really appreciate you here. And a lot of people can't see right now from the camera, but we have family members in the room as well. We're grateful that they're here. But uh, we, why don't we go ahead and get started a little bit and I'll just toss a question out and anyone can answer it. But first of all, what does Memorial Day mean? Because for a lot of people, it means something very different than what it is. So who would like to start? I think Memorial Day week, and I'll speak for everyone here, is remembering the people that we served with and some of the people that didn't come home. I had a couple of high school uh, friends that didn't come back from Afghanistan. I, I graduated 250 people, so that's pretty tough. And then also people I served with in Iraq that didn't come home. So. On Memorial Day, what I think of all the time is just the commitment it takes to put that uniform on. And a lot of times we forget what the families sacrifice back here because I constantly talk to military people and they say, don't forget my, about my families. They sacrifice more than I do. I, I think about the lineage of those who have served before me within my own family. My cousins, my uncles, aunts, grandparents, great-grandparents, father, uh, and now even my own son. A whole different perspective on what Memorial Day is when you are associated with people in the military that have family members uh, in the military. You really get appreciation what what uh, people do as a family. You know, Memorial Day dates back way back to the World War One, uh, when, when after the end of the war, they somehow they wanted to um, um, bring recognition to those who served and those who uh, didn't make it back home. So, I think of my grandmother who uh, had three of her sons go off to war in the Second World War, and that was the time when uh, the uh, family members had someone um, they would have a, a flag with the stars on them, showing mm -hmm. how many people. We're fighting the war. Nope, trying to forget. You do? You the 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 time in Vietnam or mm -hmm. yeah. Did I I imagine that you probably lost people too? I imagine. Mm -hmm. there. How long were you in Vietnam? 
A year. A year. And what year? Was it was it ramped up or was it was 69. it at the end? Sixty nine? Mm -hmm. So it was pretty wild then mm -hmm. when you were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Did you have any other family members or friends that went or well, I'm sure there's friends that went, but yeah. was it was it anything like you thought it would be? Was not anything like? Yeah. No. Okay, so one time we had uh, five of our children and they were all separated, one in California, one in Florida, one in Texas, and we just we could drop them off like Johnny Appleseed. Mm -hmm. At some point in the back of your mind, at least for me, I had a feeling that I think I need to take my turn at this. And I loved my country and I really thought that I need to be part of that lineage. And, and a lot of this was transferred to me during Memorial Day. I've stood many flag lines for the Patriot Guard. And, and Why do you do it? Why do you do it? It's, it's just an honor to honor that fallen soldier, whether it's current or, you know, uh, a World War II vet or Korean vet, but standing there with these other Patriot Guard members. And one time I had the honor of riding the motorcycle ahead of the casket into that flag line. And I got so my eyes got so teared over that I could not hardly ride that motorcycle. Sorry, I was in Washington, D.C. with some veterans issues, and uh, we were watching an anti-war uh, march, and I was sitting there watching it behind the beach. Was that with beach. Afghanistan or Iraq? Uh, Iraq. Okay. And uh, I was standing behind the barricades, and I was watching these two young soldiers. They, were st they looked like they had just gotten back, and they were standing there watching what was going on and they were just very polite and respectful and and all of a sudden someone come walking by with American flag upside down dragging on the ground mm -hmm. and uh, they I just was watching them and I was close enough where I could hear what they were going to say they, they came right up to the barricade and they asked that gentleman to come forward well, he comes marching up to him and they explained to him why you don't carry the flag that way you need to carry it properly and he, said something back to them, to the two young soldiers, and then the one young soldier said, you know, I will go back to Iraq and serve just to give you the right to do that. And the protester didn't know what to say. He turned around and kind of walked away. I just want them to keep that up for future generations. Let them uh, let them know that their support is just, just means a lot to us. Uh, don't judge the soldiers by whatever happens to be going on in the world that they're involved in. Just understand that whatever they're doing at their level, they did it out of honesty and respect for their country. Now, that's really it when you're out there by the barbecue. Just remember, you know, you're going to tip a beer, or you're going to flip the chicken on the barbecue. Just think a moment about these people that are going downrange and doing this for you. My Memorial Day never ends. It, it goes from January 1st to December 30th. <laughs> That's my goal every day is to go out and thank the veterans and their families. And I constantly do it and I'll, I'll continue to do it until I no longer breathe. This is something that Dick brought in. And I've known Dick for years now. And every time I see Dick, Dick always hands me, usually about a handful. Yep. He hands me a handful of these coins, coins that Dick gives out. And on the front of it, there's a, an American flag and it says worn, torn, and burned, but still waving proudly. And on the back of the coin, it's gold. And it says, remembering their sacrifices, our heroes and their families. Thank you for your service and dedication to our country. And the symbol for each of the military services is on the back. Those doors, and I'll never forget a second lieutenant. She had to be six foot four, full packs, and she had the duffel bags and everything. She walked through the door, she, the doors open like this. She stopped and looked, and there was a sea of people with American flags and uh, people cheering. She stopped dead in her tracks, couldn't move, and she started Tearing up and oh, she started oh. dripping tears and 45 minutes later she made it to the end of the line. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's something that, I mean, down there Dallas does it right. And, and, then, and then we have the hero, the hero flights, that uh, the World War II veterans mm -hmm. that we send over to Washington DC to see the World War II memorial. I, uh, was it, I think it was a week ago, there was a flight that came back and uh, we, Colleen and I were there watching them come off, oh. come off the plane and the 
you know, the Patriot Guard was there and all sorts of people, young people were there. Oh. Just to see 40, there was 96 of them, World War II veterans. The oldest was 100. Oh. Uh, the youngest was 82. And there was 40 of them in wheelchairs. And just to see them come off and you could just tell how emotional, how emotional that they that was. I'm sure every one of us have, have had have run the emotional gamut with regards to your service and especially when you were downrange. You've seen things that you don't even bother telling people back here because they couldn't comprehend it. Yeah. And yet you've seen other things that are so glorious you can't even find the words to express them. So some of the more patriotic things that maybe I, I've seen some of my younger soldiers do. Um, repairing flags or looking for a piece of old plumbing to hang a flag on a bombed out building in southern Iraq on the 4th of July to, to bring our spirits up. Things like that I'll never forget. Our nation has been preserved through generations by the courageous sacrifice of countless men and women. You've just heard the stories from some of the brave veterans from Minnesota's 6th District. This Memorial Day, we especially pause to remember those who lost their lives in service to our nation and the families that they left behind. God bless you and may God bless the United States of America.